Hey guys, this is Brent Abernathy. Welcome to the Family First Life Gulf Coast New Agent Call on Thursday. Hope everybody's having a great uh, dial day and start to their dial day so far. Um, got a special guest with us today. And <clears throat> what we try and do on these new agent calls is obviously dig into, you know, uh, some of the new agents that have been out in the field recently over the last, you know, couple months or whatever. And uh, if they're having successes, let them share those successes. If they're having struggles, you know, maybe we can work with them and, and, and kind of dig into why they're having the struggles. But I got a special guest with us today, Kaylor Zimmerman, <clears throat> um, who uh, started with us r- really back mid-December, uh, but <clears throat> I think more so really just started uh, uh, really going full bore in, in January, but hasn't been with us long. and. Um, has things rocking and rolling right now uh, already within two or three months. And <clears throat> when I say that, Kayler, I, uh, I've been told by multiple people that they think that you're going to help over 50 families uh, this month of March. And I do not doubt it whatsoever, but that's pretty impressive when you consider you just started. So Real quick, um, give everybody just a little quick background as far as, uh, you know, who you are, how you came into the business, what you did before uh, you got here, and then we'll kind of dig into what's going on in your business. Yeah, for sure. Um, So I am um, Kiefer's, Zimmerman's older brother, okay? Um, uh, Before before this, I was uh, selling real estate for the last, you know, three and a half years, Um, Started in Green Bay, Wisconsin, um, did that for uh, two and a half years there. And then I decided I wanted to um, change scenery and I moved down to uh, Miami, Florida, because um, I wanted to get in like luxury real estate. And, you know, that was the vision there. Um, but the first year uh, down there, it was um, kind of a grind, a struggle. You know, you're in a new environment, which is totally, um, I guess, I knew that was going to happen. Um, but, uh, as I was, you know, grinding and and working, um, I, I'm looking up North and I'm seeing my little sister just killing it in this, in this business. Um, and at the time, uh, I was just kind of watching her, watching her. And I was like, you know, she's doing these crazy numbers. And I was like, my pride was, uh, was, you know, standing firm. And I was like, you know, I can probably, I can, I can still do that in real estate, you know, and, and you can, um, but, uh, you know, I was just continuing to watch her and I was you know, struggling, struggling. And it got to the point where I was like, you know, I'm, I need to make a, a, a change here or I'm going to have to, you know, get another job or, or something on the side. So um, late last year, I reached out to Keeper. I was like, Hey, you know, um, what would it do? What would it take to get my license? She's like, you know, we'll, we'll pay for your, they pay for your, um, your course, you know, knock it out as quick as you can. Um, and we can get you selling and, you know, within a couple weeks making money. So I just started out kind of as like, okay, I'm going to do this part-time, um, make some, make, make some money, kind of dig myself out of a hole. And, um, I just started going into it and I was like, I, I really like this, you know? And, um, I just saw, and, and I also saw the the need to like go full force into it because I was right. I was not seeing the success or the the time that you need to put into this, especially up front mm-hmm. to get it off the ground, is is a lot. You got you got to like fully commit to it. So um, I I was just like, all right, I'm gonna put real estate on the back burner. I know the potential that this has just from seeing Kiefer, from seeing Evan going to convention, seeing all these people um, who are doing great. And um, I just kind of committed to, to putting everything into this now. Yeah. And what's, um, and, and I think you're hundred percent right. It's so much easier when you fully commit, you know, as, as far as, going full time. I have people ask me a lot of times, Hey, I want to transition. Um, you know, I want to start part-time and transition out of my other job. And is that possible? And absolutely it is possible, but 
you got to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You got to treat it like you've got two full-time jobs, basically. And that's always my answer. And um, because just kind of doing it whenever it fits in, that type of deal, it, it's going to do nothing but frustrate you. And yep. um, so starting out early on, what what was it like for you? I know you said you 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 realized you liked it, what we do, and you obviously saw the income potential or whatever, but what was the transition like as far as you know learning, you know, the, where were some of your struggles, your pitfalls? Because you weren't writing 50 applications a month right away, which yeah. obviously most people don't. So um, you know, as far as the transition, as far as in the home you know, product on the phone, learning leads, like where were the biggest, because you're talking to a bunch of new agents now, where were your biggest struggles early on? I think um, on the phones was my, my biggest struggle on the phone, <clears throat> tying down my appointments um, and just like committing to a Don dial day, like committing to like sticking it out until I had my, you know, full amount of appointments. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to stop you right there. Cause that's a, that's a huge thing. Okay. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? Like, what were you doing when you say you were struggling sticking it out and getting your full day's worth of appointments? Well, so I was doing, um, internet, all internet, um, whether it be instant internet, one month old, whatever. Um, when I first, when I first started. So if, if you don't know, you know, those are, though, that's a full day of, of dialing it, in most situations. 90% of the time, you're going to be dialing for at least, you know, six, eight, 10 hours, right. trying to get your full set of appointments. Um, so it was just a matter of um, like sitting down and, and starting on time and then going at it until, you know, you had the, the full day. And sometimes I would, you know, take a little uh, extra long lunch break or, uh, right. you know, a couple extra bathroom breaks. Um, but it was, it was tough to just sit there and, and take that beating, you know, because yeah. you do get beat up on the phones on, on internet. You know, it's just part of what it is. You know, you're looking for 15, 16 appointments out of a hundred, 120 leads, you know, right. um, and a lot of those aren't going to answer. You're going to be dialing. You're going to be sitting there just waiting for people to answer. And um, it's just it's just part of those. That's the and fun it, of those. Right. And it can get frustrating. Yeah. And, and, and what does happen? I'm so glad you said this because it does happen all the time. We allow our mind, we allow our frustrations to get the better of us as a new agent. What? Because we're so excited to get going. We're so excited. We want you know, uh, we want things to work out so quickly, which is a good thing. And, and it's completely normal. And then it's like, uh, you know, we let our mind get in the way and it's, we get frustrated. And it's like now all of a sudden we tell ourselves we're working all day, but we're really not. You know, we're just taking all day to do the dials. And and yes, it, it also the expectations. It's like you said it yourself. You're like, that's what's going to happen when you work those leads. It doesn't mean they're bad leads. They're great leads. Right. Yeah. It's just, that's the way it is. So, yeah. so, and it's a great way for new agents to get started. Now the idea should be to get up, make a bunch of sales, get cash flow, then turn around and start getting some direct mail going with it. So now you have a mixture, right? And right. I, I know that that's where you're at right now, but dude, I'm so glad you said that because that's one of the biggest things new agents struggle with it yeah. is in between dials. They're wasting time. They're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram or, you know, getting up and moving around or, you know, checking their emails or whatever, instead of just, you know, hit the send button, hit the send button all day long, you know? Yeah. And um, so what, um, so obviously you, you, you made that change um, for really truly dialing all day. Right. Going yep. at it intense, intensely. What other sort of things did you struggle with early on and maybe the changes that you've kind of, um, you know, made and 
Well, you mentioned before I before I go there, you mentioned tying down appointments. You struggled with that early on. So, so what did you change? How did you go about maybe getting more people to show up when when you booked appointments? So first, I mean, when I when I first got into it, <clears throat> you know, um, when you when you got somebody on the phone and they actually, uh, you know, committed to making or you know setting the appointment, you know, at first, like the first sense is like, okay, uh, uh, all right. Uh, you know, you're excited that these people are going to set the appointment with you. Right. You've been dialing, you've been dialing, you finally got one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And, um, and then you're like, you know, just get off the phone before you screw it up. Right. Yep. You don't want to ask too many questions. You don't want to like drag it on and then have them cancel or whatever. So you just try to get off the phone as quick as possible. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you, you know, tomorrow and you can write it down as an appointment, you know, okay. And knowing that tomorrow they very well might not be there because, you know, you just didn't tie it down well enough. Um, so making that change to like, you know, asking those extra questions, Hey, do you have a pen? You know, can you write a few things down about myself? Um, you know, is my name, is my right. license number? Can you write down our appointment time? Here's a confirmation code, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so being a little bit more <clears throat> like patient with when I'm on the phone, um, making sure I'm tying down, asking those extra questions, you know, are you in a gated community? Um, are you gonna, do I got a buzz up to get you? Um, can I call you if I get lost? Stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. All right. So early on in the field, uh, and I, and I know that you, you, you had some issues with no shows and things like that early on. So, so, um, what about the, 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 in the field experience, you've gotten to the point now where obviously it's much easier when you're sitting with a bunch of people instead of getting no showed. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, and I know you've transitioned into, are you working strictly mail now or are you still doing a combination of the two? So since I've been, so I've been up in green Bay for the last two and a half, almost three weeks now. Have you? Okay. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Okay. Got yep. it. So, um, reason. So, I mean, I don't want to get sidetracked, but um, <clears throat> I just had a baby, baby boy a month ago. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, and in, in my head, I, I, I did, I, I struggled really bad um, leaving my family at home while I'm out all day. Um, even on like when I first got into this, working the internet leads, my, my, my dial days were all day. You know, and then the next two days I'm out all day and then Thursday it's right back at it all day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the entire week I felt like I was, you know, neglecting my my family, you know, when I was trying to get this going. And that was that was tough for me. And that was another thing like on dial days, like, you know, I want to get this done so I can spend some time with them. Um, and then the baby came in in Jan uh, February and I was like. I, I don't want my, my wife, Adriana, um, to have to stay at home by herself with this, um, you know, while I'm, while I'm out working with the two boys. So I was like, you know what, let's, let's go back to green Bay for a little bit. Let's take a little vacation. Our families are in green Bay. She can spend time with her mom and her, and her dad and her siblings, um, while I'm out working. And I just, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be gone a lot, but yep. at least you have the family there to, to um, kind of hang out with and, and keep you company and help you with the babies. Right. Um, now I can't remember what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know what? It oh, doesn't cool. matter because it doesn't No, It doesn't matter. Cause I want to dig into this, what you just said, because what you're talking about, a lot of people struggle with. Okay. And, and how old, I know you just had the newborn. How old is your other boy? Two years old. Two years old. So, Dude, when I started in this business, uh, Emily was four and Anna was two. And I was on the road all the time. I couldn't get it was a different lead situation then. Like, like we only had direct mail. There wasn't the Internet stuff. Right. And all the leads in my area were locked down already by somebody else. So I had to travel. I had to go four hours, five hours. You know, like that's all I could get. And. I was hardly ever home. Plus I was terrible at this business early on. 
And I had to go, I had to drive all the way to Atlanta five and a half hours every single week for my sales meet. Right. But I had to do it because I had to get good, you know, and was it hard? Yes, it was hard. Did I miss a lot of stuff? Yes. I missed a ton of stuff, but I saw the potential in the business and I knew that it was, it was some of that stuff for just a short period of time, you know, and and I also knew that if I went at it super hard for, you know, five to 10 years or whatever, then at least that was my thought process at the time that I wouldn't have to miss anything again, you know, and dude, that's the reality of it. Yeah. it like I don't miss anything anymore. It, it, at least that I don't want to miss or that, that, you know, that's not like a big deal. Like I, as long as I got my phone, right. As long as I got this, I can work from anywhere now Yeah. because of how hard I went after it early on. And the crazy part about it is the kids say it all the time. They're old enough now to understand it. They, they don't remember me not being there for some open house, you know, dance thing that Emily did when she was in first grade or whatever. Um, but they remember what they're able to do now. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it, it's, it's really cool, but, but dude, I don't want to spend the, too much, but that is a, that's something a lot of people struggle with. Yeah. And, and here's the other thing too, Kaylor, your skill set is getting better every single day now. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so you can kind of condense that schedule right now. Yeah. Now, maybe instead of running four days a week, you know, it taking you, four days to run 30 appointments. Well, now maybe you're, you can run them in three because your skill set on the phone, you're, 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 you're quicker in the home, all that sort of stuff. So now maybe you can do it in three. So you can, you can get that time back, yep. but it's also, it boils down to, to why you're doing it. And, mm -hmm. and this is important. I mean, I do want to, I, I wanted to get into in home, but, but you mm -hmm. took me down another path and, you have to have that why, right? And you mentioned earlier, yeah. I made a note, I made a note here when you were talking earlier about how you you had this vision of when you went to Miami and you know the the higher end real estate market and um and and I wrote down a note, I said, What's the vision now? And so, so like, what is, what is your vision? Like with this business, you see it works. You, you, you obviously trust and believe in it because you've seen keeper success, but what's the vision for you and your family now? Well, <clears throat> I think my vision is going to change over the years and, and kind of expand and grow as I learn more about the business and I get further um, kind of down the road. But right now, I mean, my worry right now or my vision right now is just, um, you know, providing for my family. That's like really the only thing I'm, I'm worried about, you know, I'm right now I'm just focused on digging us start digging ourselves out of a hole, you know, um, making sure that our, our bills are taken care of. And, um, you know, and at some point I, I do want to start building a team. Mm -hmm. And then, um, at, you know, as I, as I continue on, I want to be able to not have to spend, um, you know, four days out in the field, you know, I want to be able to get, get good, good enough where I can hit my, hit my sales goals, um, running on the weekend, doing like a three day weekend or, or, you know, you know, being able to just spend maybe two or three days in the field versus four days. And, um, right. so I, I, I don't have a grand vision yet cause I'm still learning about the business. But right now, all, all, I, all I'm focused on is, is just working. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's, I, I, I'm just, that's what your sister did for, for a year. Yeah. You know, she, that's, that's one thing. And I love Kiefer to death and I respect her so much what she did last year, helping almost 600 families in her first year in the business. And, and it's so crazy, dude, just listening to what you just said you and her think so much, it's, it thinks so much like it's, it's like, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the strategy is. All I know is that I'm going to freaking go to work. 
and, and I'm not going to stop working. Like it's that structure, that discipline. And I'm assuming you're probably competitive as all get outs too, just like she is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but it's just put the head down and go to work. Yeah. Um, and it seems simple, but so many people let stuff get in the way. Like you, you've already mentioned, I mean, you, you had a baby a month ago, you know, you were down in Florida. Now you're up in, you know, Green Bay. It's like, there's so many things that could have gotten in your way, you know, and, and it's going to continue to crop up. There's going to continue to be other things that crop up. And it's like, it's like, you just got to keep that structure, that discipline. It's got to be like Groundhog Day every single week, you know, yeah. Uh, real quick before I let you go, because I know you've got a busy day um, today. Uh, if there's any anything that you've learned or gained, you know, from an in-home standpoint of maybe something you were you were messing up on or not understanding earlier on, and now you've changed it to be able to go out and, I mean, dude, it's it's funny, and I got to tell you this before I, before you answer. So I I always I, the Discord. I always get a kick out of the Discord sales. Uh, posting you know channel because it's like i was looking at it yesterday i was like man I hadn't seen kaylor's name on there anyway and then it hit me i was like oh yeah he, he he always posts everything at like midnight at night so 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 i wake up this morning and there it was it was like five or six <laughs> applications right <laughs> so what's the deal with the in-home anything you can give any tips for the new agents um honestly i i really try to let them know, like, as soon as I can, let them know that I'm there for them and I'm on their side. I'm not trying to, um, you know, sell them some grand thing that's going to cost them a bunch of money. I, I try to make it a point to say, you know, it, it, it specifically. So I, I, I will tell them, you know, when, when I get to that point, when we're going to go shopping, my goal is to check three boxes. First box is to find you something comfortable. You guys understand, you know, the product, you know, the value and the benefits that it's going to bring you or your family when it comes time to use it. Two is I want to find you something that's affordable. I'm not here to take food off your table. OK, I'm here to fill a need and that need is protect your family. OK, um, at the end of the day, if, if we if it's too expensive, you're, you're going to cancel it. It's not going to be there when you need it the most. Right. So my goal is to find something that's going to fit seamlessly in your budget. OK, and three. If we can check those first two boxes, comfortable, affordable, we're going to see if we can get you to qualify. And how to do that, we're going to put an application in, a request to the carrier, and they're going to tell us yes or no if we can put the coverage into place. So I, I try to let them know, like, right up front, this is – we're going to try to find something in your budget. We're not going to try to take money away from your other bills. Okay, this is to, to fill a need – in your family. And I think just, I think that's helped me a lot, just like connecting mm -hmm. and okay. letting them, I'm, I'm on your side. I'm not some salesman trying to push something on you that you don't right. need. Yeah. And, and it's also giving them structure. It's giving you credibility, but it's also giving structure to the appointment. And yeah, I, and I think I know the answer to this, but, I, but you're going in the house, you are probably doing just a, quick little rapport type deal, you know, are, and then it, are you, are you saying those three things, the comfortable, the affordable and get you qualified? Is that kind of your transition, your, your transition into business? Like, here's what we're going to do today type of thing. Is that where you're saying it right at the start? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not the first thing I say, but um, I, I start by saying, you know, I, I show them the lead form. If it's, if it's a male, um, otherwise if it's internet, I'll just say, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you guys filled this, filled out the request online because you, for whatever reason, you need some type of life insurance. Um, and then I, I, I may or may not just ask them to kind of tell me what brought them to filling out the request, filling out the form, um, to get a better idea of, of how this is going to go. If they're like, well, I thought it was free or, you know, you know, we don't have any coverage in place. It's kind of just going to help me guide, um, right. guide the rest of the appointment. I'll get a feel for that. Um, but then I'm like, all right. So like I said, on the phone, I'm a field underwriter. I'm a, you know, a glorified application. Tech. Okay. So they sent me self, out here. Hey, self-deprecation, dude. It works. It, it, I love it. Uh, send me out here 
to ask you some some health questions. Okay, we'll talk about um, some finances a little bit to figure out your budget, and then um, and then we're gonna go into uh, the next part here. And I show them our um, the the little sheet with uh, the all the carriers on. Yeah, yeah, yep. the credibility yep. sheet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and I said, um, we're going to go share. This is, this is, uh, all the carriers we're contracting with yada, yada. This allows us to shop around for you. Um, and then I go into my goal with shopping for you today is, is checking. That makes sense. That's what I was trying to get to is how you transition yep. into that. And, uh, you use that credibility sheet with all the carriers to do that. So dude, I, I, that sets the tone for the appointment right away. And, and, um, that structure is massive. Um, and, and guess what? It's also you taking control. It's, it's you, it's you guiding them. It's, it's, Hey, Hey, here's what we're going to do today type yeah. of deal. Um, you know, instead of let them guide you and take control and stuff. So, um, dude, I, I could, I could dig in. I want to dig into some of this stuff some more as we move forward with you. Um, you got a lot of good stuff to share and, um, but I do know you're, you're busy today and I, and I appreciate you taking the time. Um, you, you are inspiring, whether or not you know it or not, you are inspiring, um, other new agents from afar out, out there right now that are looking at the leaderboards that are seeing your name. Uh, and, and that's, that's pretty cool. And if they're not looking at the leaderboards, they should be looking at the leaderboards because that, that does push. It does challenge you. At least it did for me. If you've got a competitive bone in your body, it's like, don't run from the fact that you're on the bottom of the leaderboard, right? Like pick off, pick off somebody in the middle, pick out somebody in the middle and say, Hey, I'm going to get to that person. And then once you get to that person, Hey, I'm going to start chasing down this person. That's how you, gain belief and confidence and <clears throat> so at least i did so and that dude, i appreciate go ahead it, it happens quick you know it, you'll you'll be struggling struggling and then something will just click and then you'll start doing you know you know 10 families a week 15 families a week and it, it just kind of right. takes off at least it has for me i've seen it happen for Kiefer, for evan you know i've i've seen it happen for a lot of people so right. i think it's a matter you got to put the work in, though. And see, yeah. that's what I, I know that's what you and Kiefer and Evan did, right? You got to yeah. put that work in, and you don't know when it's going to click. It will click pretty quickly as long as the work part's there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, well, listen, dude, appreciate you. And, and I'm just going to say, and I'm going to throw it out there to you a little challenge. So, your sister started with us in uh, January. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And helped almost 600 families in her first year. Okay. Um, I'll just throw a little challenge out there to see. I think you can do more than she did in her first year. And, and I would love to talk a little smack to her about that too. Um, I don't know if that's a goal of yours. I don't know if it's something in your thought process. I know you can do it. Um, especially since you've had somebody blaze that trail before you. Um, but I'll go out on a limb right now and I'll just go ahead and tell you, I will, and it's being recorded, obviously, I will give you, I'll give you a $5,000 bonus at the end of the year. Yep. You writing it down? <laughs> I'll give you a $5,000 bonus at the end of the year. If you help more families in your first year than your sister did. In her first year. Okay. Sound like, sound like a deal? Sounds like a deal. All right. And if you ever need anything, man, as we go through this growing, you know, growing the business, recruiting, I do know, I mean, just off the top of my head, and I don't want to dig into this now, but you come from the real estate background. I'm sure there's plenty of people, you yeah. know, that we can, that we can start hitting up. We can start recruiting. Uh, now that you're seeing deposits, now that you you understand how easy the business is if you just work. So uh, if you need any help with any of that, let me know. And uh, I will be looking forward to watching you chase down your sister on the leaderboard this year. For sure. For sure. All right, my man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Go help some families. All right, buddy. Thank you. See you. All right, Caleb.